Dear beer lovers of all the world, we had a professional beer tasting of over 40 different beers which were tasted by our professional beer drinkers and with high standards and evaluation we managed to build a list of the best beers in the world. You can trust us, we have high standards of quality management. Now let me introduce our final list here presented on the wall. Here we pre I present you a middle class beer. It's in the media, medium, in the uh, direct middle of the scale from 1 to 10. Uh, and it's uh, Gösser from Austria. You know it maybe, it's, it tells it's the best beer of Austria, which is, as we can say, by our scientific standards, total rubbish. It's middle class. Here we go to the left, to the even more rubbish beers. Here we have Weiterabroi, also from Austria, from the north of Austria. It's near to Czech, uh, Czech front, frontier. Here we have Miller from America. You see it's rubbish, it's clear. Here we have Hirta from Carinthia, a more hoppy beer, even more rubbish. And now we come to the dead end of the list. Leffe from Belgium, our professional beer tasters didn't like it. And the official last place of all the beers we tasted, it's this Schneiderweisse and it has no alcohol. That's the main reason I think that it's on the last place, the official last place. Without alcohol, don't drink it. So we go to the better places now. The tension is building. Here we have uh, Bilsner Urquell. Uh, from Czech Republic, one of the oldest Pilsners, the oldest Pilsner in the world. It's a middle class beer, you see it, 5, 2, 4. Uh, Paulaner from München. It's a middle class beer too. Löwenbräu and Hohegarden from Belgium. All middle class. It's not the high standard we want. Zipfer Urtyp, also Austrian beer. No, ooh. It's also Heineken. The, what you can taste in all the world, it always tastes the same. Corona from Mexico, it's also uh, rated by our beer tasters. In middle class, 573. Murauer from the heart of Styria, 584. It's a middle class, all middle or middle class beers here. More hoppy ones. The Murauer is more hoppy, it's a pilsener. Here we have Budweiser, it's also you can trust us, not the best, don't, don't believe the media. Forst, here we have a forced beer from the woods, like you can see on the logo, a wood beer to drink in the woods, maybe. Here we have Tsingtao from China, I don't know what they say here on the bottle. 644, it starts to pick you better. Trummer Pils or another Pilsener, one of the best Pilseners in our tasting, but it's not so high. Here we have Newcastle Brown Ale from England. Imported from England, it says the one and only. We say it's not so good. Six five fifty nine. Here are the Polish Polish beer. Tuskie from Poland. Six seventy five. Franciscana Weiss beer. Six seventy five. It's Naturtrüb, which means it's natural, natural dark. I don't know. Pex, you might know it. A very highly known beer, we have from 684. Now we have a Rocken Bio beer. It's very healthy, they say. I don't know. 714. Morenbräu from the west of Austria. It's like a, a little bit maybe political issue because of the logo, but we don't care. Here we have Mexico Sol Cerveza. Sol Cerveza, very light beer. To drink in hot summer nights, maybe Carlo Vazco. Here you have it. It's Bivo, they call it there. And now we go to Turkey. Turkey FS also for hot nights. FS Pilsener. It doesn't taste like Pilsener, very light beer, but 750 from our professional beer tasters. San Miguel from Spain, 745. And now we go to the top places. We have the Top 6 now, we enter into Top 6, Zwettler, Original, 
776 points. Now we have Flens for Pilsner with a very funny bottle you can drink on ship. It's a 788 by our beer testers. Now the top beers we have Italia Teresiana. Here you can see a very good logo. Premium Pils. Premium Pils. 789. And now the top three we have. See the logo, see the logo. The tower. Here we have Stiegelweisse from Salzburg. Very fine on the third place. 79.90. On the second place we have Wieselburger Gold. A very smooth beer. You can drink every day if you want. And now we come to our top place by our professional beer testers officially awarded. It's the Otto Gringer Wiener Original. This is our winner. Enjoy it. It's a medium beer. Uh, it's 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 not very dark, but not not very bright. It's a very tasty beer from the heart of Vienna. Try it. It's the best evaluated by our professional beer tasters. Trust our judgment. It's true by scientific standards. And enjoy all the fine beers we tasted for you. And for the last I present you the country rating. Because we always also want to see which is the best beer country. And it's interesting, very interesting result. You wouldn't expect. We have on the last place with Belgium with a medium of 5.85 points then we have the USA it's no wonder you might say 5.5 we have Germany but only 5.54 we have the Czech Republic 5.8 and now the top three we have Austria with 6.51 Mexico with 6.54 and our winner of the best beer country with best beer in world it's Italia who would have believed that you don't don't believe what you think about beers we have tried it it's Italia best beer in the world 7.14 by our professional beer tasters it's amazing a dream try Italian beer trust us try Mexican and Austrian beer the best three beer countries in the world I hope you have enjoyed it. If you want to visit us, come to our great beer laboratories. You will find our address below. And now we're gonna drink our best beer. Mm. Mm. Oh, it's so good, it's so good, it's so good. I can tell you. Mm. Mm. Ah. Ah. Best beer in the world.